Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching HTML tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about HTML head element. So let's get started. So I have opened brackets and I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll save it as head element.html. And I'll go ahead and write the following HTML. So we have the doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag and we have the opening and closing head tag and opening and closing body tag. The opening head tag and the closing head tag and all the content between the two make up the HTML head element. The head element is like a header for the web page. It contains information about the page like the title of the page, script tags to include some JavaScript files, link to include some style sheets and so on. And as you can see, we have set the title for this web page head element. So if we open this live preview, we can see the title for this web page is set to head element. Another commonly used tag inside the head is the meta tag. The meta tag provides additional information about the web page. Like for example, the name of the author, keywords for the web page, character set, and so on. So let us go ahead and create a meta tag for character set. And we'll set this to UTF-8. This tells us about the character set that is used for this page. Similarly, let us go ahead and create a meta tag for keywords. So name, keywords and content let's say HTML tutorial. So this meta tag is for keywords and the content is HTML and tutorials. Another important tag used inside the head is the style tag. So let me go ahead and first create a H1 tag. And let's say the content of H1 is Hello world. In the previous video, when we were discussing about attributes, we learned about the style attribute. So let's say if we want to change the color of this hello world text to blue, we can add style attribute to this opening H1 tag and we can set the style value to color blue. And we get this text in blue color. Now another way of doing this is by creating a style element inside the head. So we can write style and inside this opening style tag and closing style tag we can write h1 And we can set the color to blue and we get this text in blue color. So this is called the embedded styling. We will learn more about style and CSS in the CSS tutorial. Another important tag used inside the head is the link tag. And it is commonly used to include external style sheets. So let me first go ahead and create a new folder and name it CSS. And inside this CSS folder, let me go ahead and create a new file and save it as default.css. So we have the CSS folder and it contains a default.css file. Now in order to include this default.css file, 
inside this head element dot html file we use the link tag so link and since we are including a style sheet so we'll set rel to style sheet and we'll set the href attribute to the path of this default.css file so we'll write css slash default.css and we'll close this tag now let us go ahead and create a paragraph and write this is a sample paragraph now let's say we want to change the color of this paragraph to red using default.css so we open this default.css file and let us go ahead and define a style rule for p and set the color to red and you can see the paragraph is now in red color so we use this link tag to include the default.css file which is inside the css folder so for this we have set rel to style sheet and href to the path of that default.css file we will learn more about style sheets and css in the css tutorial another important tag used inside the head is the script tag and it is commonly used to include external javascript files so let me go ahead and create a new folder inside the html project folder and i will name it js now inside this js folder i will go ahead and create a default dot js file now in order to include this default dot js file which is inside the js folder inside our head element dot html file we take help of the script tag so script and we set src and the value of this attribute src is equal to the path of the file that we want to include in this case js slash default.js so we have included default.js file inside this html file now we can place this script tag in the head as well as in the body so let us go ahead and create another file inside the js folder and let us call this app.js and we'll include app.js before the end of the body tag so we'll write script src js app.js we can also write javascript inside our html file using script tag so for that we'll write script and inside this opening script tag and closing script tag we'll write our javascript code so for example i can write var name equal to yusuf shakil and i can also write alert name and save so now if this page is loaded I get this alert box. We can also include the type attribute inside the opening script tag and we set the value of this type attribute to text slash JavaScript. So let us go ahead and write the type attribute inside the script tag and set it to text slash JavaScript. 
similarly we can include the type attribute for this script tag as well and for this one too so let me go ahead and copy this and paste so this type attribute is saying that the script tag contains JavaScript. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. And the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I will put it in my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. So please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel because I make new videos every week. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.